Huge cuts are in store for this year's federal budget, and financial aid for college students may be on the chopping block. Our Jasmine Spencer takes a look into the proposed budget and what it could mean for Elon students. Jasmine, what are these proposed cuts? Well, Sophie, the education budget proposal is said to cost $37 trillion in funding for the 2012 year. Though there will be an increase in elementary school programs such as Race to the Top, the controversy is in Pell Grant cuts for college students. Uh, if it does happen, uh, low-income families would be at risk where they wouldn't be able to afford college otherwise. What used to be a modest farmhouse near campus is now an office that helps students pay for college. Students like Jerry Staples rely on financial planning services for assistance with tuition payments and federal aid. I'm the first person in my family to go to college. As a first generation college student, Staples has been able to afford Elon and study abroad in Ghana through the Watson Scholarship Program. Staples also receives Pell loans and grants. I actually just started getting them my last two years um, because my mother lost her job. Nine billion students rely on the Pell Grant each year to go to college, including 10% of Elon's student body. They are from your poor areas, they are from your uh, middle, low middle to low um, economic status. There could, however, be less Pell Grants available to students if Congress approves a 2012 education budget proposal. The budget's, quote, tough choice includes a $2 billion decrease overall. Director of Financial Planning Patrick Murphy is in charge of the aid budget distribution for Elon students. My best guess is that if they were to reduce the Pell by $845, we would probably see approximately a quarter million dollars less come in. If the proposal does pass, students will have to rely less on their financial planning offices and more on outside sources of scholarships and grants found on websites like fastweb.com. Murphy says that students who are at risk of losing some aid should begin looking to other sources of assistance. I would encourage them to get politically active and contact their representatives and just let them know how important these grants are to them. For now, Staples is relying on financial assistance for his graduate studies at UNCG. And if that doesn't work... Plan B is FAFSA. <laughs> As normal, like they always have without the proposal in consideration. But if the cut does pass, Elon's diversity could be affected, as majority of Pell Grant recipients are minority students. Live in Corey Business Center, I'm Jasmine Spencer, Phoenix 14 News, tonight.